Howdy gang, Michelle here. And in this video, I am going to show you the technique that um, I kind of came across. I was piddle farting around with some resin, some alcohol inks, and I came up with this really cool technique that I have used for these coasters here that are just beautiful. They have just gorgeous shimmer to them, lots of dimension. Um, they have like a 3D effect quality. Even the back is really nice. And I also did this coaster as well, which is part of this set that I have. But you can do this with any coaster mold that you have. Okay, you don't have to have this particular set. But if you're interested in this set, what I'll do is I will post the link down in the information section below. And uh, you guys can get it as well. So this is my purple set, which I finally after three tries perfected and I'm probably going to keep these because they're really nice but um, I had a friend of mine who asked for some teal and peach ones and these are them and again let's take a look at them up close you can see with the dimension sorry it's so shiny but you can see how it looks almost 3d and even the back is just so beautiful on these and it's got great sparkle and shine, even though I didn't, for these particular ones, I did not use any glitter. I used a little bit of mica uh, for these, for the peach color, and um, alcohol inks for the rest. So there you go. You can see. Gorgeous. So let's get started. What I'm using on this um, to get started is a pretty inexpensive uh, resin that you can get from Joanne. And what I do is I get this when it's on, um, there's like a 50 or 60% off coupon because I don't want to waste my really good, like my CC DIY on ones while I'm just testing it out. So while you're testing it and perfecting this technique, don't waste your good stuff. Get something that's pretty inexpensive, get it at a discount, mess with that first and then move on because for this particular set, you're going to need quite a bit. So, um, this is a 32 ounce set. You get these two bottles. And like I said, I, I'm using these rather than wasting my really good resin until I've perfected this. So you're going to measure out, I've already mixed them. And as you can see, it's pretty clear. My bubbles are, are coming up. Um, and I just finished mixing this. I let it set for about 10 minutes. I leave it alone, let all the bubbles come up, and then I start working with it. So that's what that's doing there. So for this, you're going to mix 140 grams. So if you have a measuring scale, a digital scale, something like that, this is the one that I use. I got this at Walmart, really inexpensive. It was like 15 bucks and it comes with a battery inside. Um, you put your cup on there, you measure out 140 grams of the hardener, 140 grams of the resin. So you have 280 grams total in a big cup. If you have like a red solo cup or something like that, you can use those. I go to my local restaurant supply store. We go there quite a bit because my husband has a barbecue business. And I get these nice big 12 ounce uh, crystal plastic ones. These are great. And that's what I'm using here. And it literally comes... You guys can see it comes almost right to the top. <laughs> so you're going to use quite a bit of resin um, for this set. Okay. So this set I'm going to do, I'm, I'm doing like a fire theme with this. And um, with anybody who's ever done uh, resin work before with molds, one of the first things that I do, I hope everybody else does this also. Um, I like to, first I'm going to move my resin out of the way for a second, move my alcohol inks over, but this is, um, alcohol. What I like to do just to make sure that there's no residue or anything left from my last cast that I did, I just spritz a little bit of alcohol in these and wipe them out. That way, if there's any, you know, colors or bits or pieces of, see, tiny little piece, get out of there. Um, you, you get those, you pull those out of there and just wipe those out really good. They air dry pretty quick also. So once you wipe them down, 
I usually just toss it to the side, go to the next one, and get them really nice and cleaned out. That way you don't have anything left over from your previous cast. There we go. Better to be safe than sorry, because there's been times where when I first started messing with resin and making molds that I did not clean them out. And then I would end up with bits and bobs from other pieces that I had worked on. And it ruined it. So I take the time and, and wipe them out. And I think everybody should do that. See, and there's pieces on the outside. Try and get those off also. Just so they don't pop off. And um, go inside. Obviously, gloves are a must when you're working with resin. Now, the great thing about this is you can flip it inside out and wipe down the inside. Make sure you get every little nook and cranny. There we go. That little purple piece was being stubborn. Oh, look. Tried to hop back in there. Come on. There we go. All right. So, now that these are all wiped down, clean, ready to go, the alcohol inks that I'm using for this particular one, I have a bunch of alcohol inks. So there's a big tote of them there. I have this other little box here. But what I do with my alcohol inks, so I know exactly what I have. I don't know if anybody else does this too, but I'm kind of, I'm, I'm way over organized sometimes. I have a little piece of paper and I write what type of alcohol ink it is and then the name and then I put a drop next to each one. That way I know exactly what it's going to look like. And I do that for all the different ones that I have. So I have the Ranger Pearls, I have the Ranger Regular ones, I have the Bria Reese, and the Pinata. So for this one, I'm going to be using the Ranger Pearls and the Ranger Regular. I'm going to be using in the Pearls Deception, which is this one right here. Um, Splendor, which is this one right here. And Alchemy which is this yellow one right here. So those are the pearls I'm going to be using. And the regular one, I'm going to be using Poppy Field, Sunset Orange, and Sunshine Yellow. And then, of course, you're always going to need your white. You never have enough white. Okay. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is now that my, my resin's been setting up, I'm going to move my inks out of the way here. You're going to need a heat gun for this as well because you're going to need to move um, your resin around, let it warm up, and it'll help your colors flow a little bit more. So I'm just letting this drip off my stick here real quick and then I'm going to put that aside. And then it's really good if you use the, um, the silicone sticks like this. Number one, you have less bubbles in your resin as you're stirring it. Um, number two, you just wipe it down with some alcohol or a baby wipe. You're good to go. All right. So I'm tucking that over here. Then I'm going to grab a popsicle stick. And the reason why I grab a popsicle stick is as I'm pouring a little bit into my molds, it's easier to swipe it up rather than it keep dripping all over the place. So what you're going to do is you're going to put enough to just barely cover the the bottom of your coasters okay so just strip it in grab it scoop it up that way you don't have too much of a mess pour it in grab it scoop it up there we go we're going to grab the fourth one there we go. Now, with the um, 
There we go. I'm going to set that right on there. With your heat gun, grab a mine now, you're just going to get enough movement in your resin that you see it loosens up. And it'll start doing what I call rose petals. When it blows, it looks like little rose petals. Okay. And make sure you do that all over so that way it completely distributes the bottom of the coaster all the way around. And the reason why you want to do that, number one, it helps pop any bubbles that you have, but it also makes sure that you have enough coverage and it warms it up to help your, your alcohol inks move once they're dropped in there. So, like, this one little spot over here is being stubborn. It wanted to stay dry. So, we're going to make sure we move that. There it goes. All right. Okay. So, putting that aside. So, I'm going to grab my pearls first. I'm going to start with my... Uh, Deception Red Pearl. And then with the pearls, they're kind of funky because there's a little ball inside that helps mix it together. Sometimes you can get like two, three drops out of it and then it stops because that ball goes down here into it. So what I tend to do is come back, drop, come back, drop, drop. Okay, so you just want to put some drops around like that. Now, on uh, I'm going to do one red, one yellow, one green, or excuse me, one red, one yellow, one orange, and then I'm going to do all three in the fourth one just to see how they all come together. I'm thinking it's going to look pretty awesome. Whoopsie. I shook it up a little too much there. And, and your spots don't need to be exactly uniform get crazy you know there's no resin police nobody's gonna come knocking on the door saying hey you put one too many drops you put as many drops as makes you happy then you're gonna come over all the drops you just did and you're gonna hit them with white and then let them just sit and get happy don't force them to do anything let them just do their own thing okay so while that's working now I'm gonna go to my orange in my pearl my splendor make sure you shake it up real good because the pearl color actually sits at the bottom and you're going to do the same thing over here okay and i'm going to grab my yellow which is my alchemy and my pearl Shake it up really good. All right. Close those up. Now grab my white. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hit each drop with some white on it. Whoops. All right, so now we're going to come over here to the red, and I'm just going to take my regular alcohol ink. This one is Poppy Field. Oh, you know what I just realized? I forgot to put the alchemy over here and the orange over here into this one. We got to get some fire going in that. And again, you can put these drops anywhere you want. It does not have to be uniform because um, it's, you know, like Bob Ross says, it's, it's your own happy little world. You make it the way you want it. All right. So I'm going to go back to Poppy Field and I'm going to focus on this red one up here. Now, you can see there's a lot of what I call naked space 
voided space, meaning there's no color there. You're going to take your other color, in this case the poppy field, and drop it in where you see those naked areas. These kind of look like strawberries, don't they? And then here, I'm going to drop some poppy field over here, just randomly. And grab your way. It's all about layering. Okay, that's really important with this. That's what gives it the 3D look, the dimension. So make sure that you, you do that. All right. So I'm going to grab, nope, sunshine yellow, and I'm going to come over here into my yellow one. And again, I'm going to hit all those naked spots. Sorry if you hear my puppy. She's over here dreaming, chasing the rabbits. Okay. And then put in as much as you want that makes you happy. Grab that white. And layer it up. Hit all the drops that you just laid down. Okay. I'm going to come over here and hit these red ones with the white while it's open. And one right there. And I'm going to hit it with some yellow over here also. I have a feeling this one's going to come out pretty awesome looking with all three of the colors in it. All right. And then finally, I'm going to grab my sunset orange and in here on my orange um, coaster palette, Petri, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to hit all the edges where the colors are starting to come in and come together. Because with alcohol ink, as you guys know, if you've ever worked with it before, look at this red one already. I'm going to try and come in close so you can see that. How awesome is that looking? And we're not even done. All right. So I'm going to grab my white and hit my orange. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to hit some orange in here. And this one down here looks like it's having a little party on its own. Boop. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our heat gun again. And now we're going to move these colors around a little bit and kind of create that marble look like what you see on this one. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your heat gun and you're just gonna move those colors around a little bit. You don't wanna blend them too much, you just want to move them around and keep them loose. And trust me, they do a lot of work on their own. And even if it looks like you're messing them up, trust me, they will come back together. They are resilient little colors all right so what you're going to do now is you're going to take your clear and you're just going to pour it in in a you're going to start in the center very lightly and just swirl all the way out until you're out to the edge until it's full all right so up here with the red one very slow go all the way around and you can go back and forth and it's going to look like you have this wide open, clear space in the center, but as it moves around, it will come together and it creates this wonderful looking piece like the ones that you've seen. So I'm going to go over here and hit the yellow. And make sure you fill it all the way to the top. Let 
let's get this orange guy. And as you do this, you'll be able to see already the dimension that you're going to get with this because the bottom layer is, you know, already started to set a little bit. All right. And now this last one, this one I think is going to come out pretty cool looking. Now you still have like half a cup. This is what we're going to use. Come on. There's a piece dripping. Get up there. There we go. This is why gloves are fundamental. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my holder very gently, gently, if you have to move these. See, as you can see with this one here, I'm going to zoom in on it so you can see. See, look at that effect. I mean, it's already coming together. You can kind of see the spiral and everything. And even though this looks like you have an empty hole right there, once it comes together, it's going to look amazing. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. All right. So what I do is very gently slide them up just so they're up out of my way. Over here. And over here. Don't make sure you do it on a flat enough surface that you, you don't have to, um, you know, worry about bumping it while you're moving it. So what you want to do with the holder, if you have a holder, um, to work the colors in, what I do is I take my, my popsicle stick. Okay. I carry some of the resin into the bottom. Not a whole lot. You just want to get enough just to get a coating of the resin on the bottom because you want the color to lay at the top, which this right here, what you're looking at is the bottom of the coaster. So you want enough resin in there just to kind of coat the top so that way when we drop the alcohol ink in there, it has a place to land without just sticking to the silicone. So what I like to do is just to take my stick and just kind of run it all the way around just make sure that there's resin and if you want just pour a little bit more but you don't want to do a whole lot you don't want to put too much resin down in the bottom because then your color won't sink down and saturate it the right way and when you can see that there's enough in there which i can then you're going to take your colors and you're you're going to start building up your colors so i'm going to start with my my reds and I'm going to use my pearl uh, red, which is my deception, and just drop it in. And it's okay if it touches the sidewall because that'll actually create another effect for you if you want. So don't think, oh my God, it's on the sidewall. No, that's fine. It's all about getting that color saturated all the way to the bottom. So that's okay. So that's my deception. My red pearl. Now I'm going to take poppy field and do the same thing with poppy field. And just drop it in randomly here and there. And it's all about color layering with this. Okay, so my reds are done. Now... Grab your white. You're going to drop not as much white, just like every four, five, six. Now take your heat gun and heat up that layer. Move that color around. I don't know if you guys can see that moving around, but you can see that it's blowing it around. That's what you want. Okay. Take your clear resin, and again, you want to layer in that clear resin before we go to the next layer, which is going to be the orange. And the other thing is, if um, you want to blend your colors a little bit more, if you have a... 
um, skewer like this one I'm going to show you you can actually poke them down a little bit so if you have something like this you can get a big bag of these like a hundred of them for like two bucks at the grocery store um, and what you do is you just help that color move around a little bit down there and blend and wipe it off and put it aside then I'm just gonna take one more set of clear all the way around before I go into my orange there we go all right so now we're gonna do splendor which is the orange pearl so I want you guys to see real quick, if you look at this yellow one, remember that big void that was in there? It's starting to look like a flower, but those are all colors that are pulling together. See what I mean? We did basically the same thing on every one of them, but all of them look so different and so unique. So it's pretty cool. Let me, there we go. I'm gonna keep it like this so you guys can see a little closer. All right, so with the orange, same thing. You're gonna go in, drop some color. And now we're going to grab Sunset Orange and do the same thing. Now again, if you don't have this coaster set or this holder, that's fine. I know there's other coaster holders out there that you can do like flat ones where you can stand the coasters up. Just use the same technique that you're, um, you're using with this and it'll look amazing. Now grab your heat gun. Move that color around. All right. Now, let's grab some clear. And let's layer in some clear here. And again, if you want to grab your stir, I do a light poke. Obviously, this is silicone, so you don't want to go poke crazy with something pointy and, and silicone. I just do it just to get some of the color to work through from the red to the orange. Okay. We're going to do one more quick round of the resin, the clear. Then you're going to grab your yellow. So I'm going to use Alchemy first, which is my pearl. And then once I get this set up, I'll show you guys the side of this so you can see how it's come together. It looks pretty awesome, actually. And you notice I haven't used the white yet. And in between the, I did it on the red but I didn't do it on the orange and I'm not going to do it on the yellow yet. And I'll, I'll show you why I'm going to save that for the top because I want the sides now to look like it's got that fire look to it. All right. So now what we're going to do is put a tiny bit of resin here on the top just to cover this top part of it. because this is where we're going to start mixing our colors together up here at the top and then it'll flow down once we pour the, the final amount. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so let's grab our red. As you can see, it's not all the way to the edges, but it's close. Start dropping my red. And 
And I love how alcohol inks just dance around, especially the pearls. They just shimmer and, and move around so much. They're just so pretty. All right, reds are done. Let's grab orange. And it's starting to flow down the side, which is awesome. We want that. Have gone horribly wrong. Let's see, drop some yellow. And then finally the sunshine yellow before we get to the white. And I just smatter that in there. Okay. So now we got our colors all in. Now you're gonna take your white. And you're going to start dropping your white. And it looks like the pearl is just shimmering. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to let that sit for about 30 seconds before I pour my clear in. Just so it can start mixing and, and moving around a little bit on its own. See, as you can see, it's kind of sliding down on the sides. And that's good. So what we're going to do is take the rest of our clear that we have. We have like maybe a quarter of a cup left. And we're going to use every ounce that I had poured out of the 280 ounces. And we're going to do the same thing with this as we did with those. We're going to start in the center and we're just going to work our way from a spiral all the way out to the edge. So pour slow. And just keep going. Even though it looks like it's, you know, Oh my God, all my color's gone. No, it's not. Watch. Keep going. Go all the way to the top. And they all come back to the middle. It's magic. Isn't that amazing? And literally all but a drop of my resin, which I'll, I'll use. I have a little uh, keychain thing here. I'm going to use it in. And as you can see, it's now pulling all those colors in together and it literally looks amazing. So I'm going to try and bring my camera down a little bit, the angle. So just bear with me one sec. I don't want to get, I'm going to take my gloves off. I don't want to get epoxy all over my. All right. So bear with me. Look at the side of that. Can you guys see the colors in there? It looks awesome. Okay, so this set is going to sit for 24 hours. I'm so impatient. I want this to be done now. Um, that was my Moira Rose voice. Um, I am going to be back in a few seconds for you guys, but 24 hours for me for the unmolding and I promise I won't unmold anything until you guys are here with me. All right. Have a great night. See you in a few seconds. Okay. So it's been just about 24 hour later for me seconds for you guys and these gorgeous pieces that we did are ready to be unmolded. Now, as you can see, Oh, you can kind of already see that. Look how pretty. This holder is amazing. I don't know if you guys can see through that yet, but like I'm holding it up to the sun over here and it looks great. All right. So we're going to start with, let's start with red. All right. So if you've never unmolded these, which I'm sure if many of you are watching this, you've done coasters before. If not, just take your time and kind of peel it away a little at a time. And then gently just pop it out. Oh, look at that. The shimmer in that. And I, I noticed that there's still a little bit of void in here. That's okay. You guys can just continue laying or layering on the color if you like. But you can see the dimension that I was talking about when you swirl that clear color in. 
and it gives you that texture in there where it looks almost three-dimensional and that's the back so pretty so that's the red one let's move over to orange this one again good stuff peel it away take your time and if you're impatient like me don't rush this let it sit for the whole amount of time that it calls for with the epoxy that you're using oh, look can you see that shimmer in there also it's just gorgeous this is an orange one and I really love how it looks so I'm gonna hold it like that because the Sun is kind of coming through I don't know if you can really see it but it's gorgeous that's the orange one put that one over here now let's go to the yellow now there is quite a bit of avoided space right around the edge but again that's okay um, just layer on those colors until you are happy with it before you peel or excuse me until you pour um, the clear in at the end Oh, just beautiful and again that shimmer you guys can hopefully see that is just gorgeous and the back side of it kind of looks like a flower so that's the yellow and this is the one that has all three colors in it so I'm really curious to see how this one came out before I unmold the holder. Ooh, really pretty. It's like a hot orangey peachy color. And again, that shimmer in there is just beautiful and there's no glitter in this at all the shimmer comes totally from the pearl inks that i used and you can see the shimmer on the back also beautiful now the piece de resistance um if you guys remember when i poured this on and it was just all naked or you know clear and i was like oh my god it's gonna be clear no it all came together here so with this mold if you get it and I'll have the link for these uh, this set down in the information section below along with all the uh, materials that I use um, when you unpeel this just be super patient because you literally have to peel it inside out so start really slow and just kind of run your finger along the edge And there's a lot of suction in towards the middle like in this section here so as you can see I kind of broke that vacuum there when I undid that and then this is where it's really important to make sure this is fully cured because you're gonna basically flip this mold I'm gonna manhandle this for a second because I'm trying to do this with the camera in the way and it's a little wonky so just bear with me Oh, this color is just amazing. I apologize if I end up going out of view. I'm trying not to. A little bit more. And there it is. Look. You can see all the red, the yellow, the orange. The color comes all the way up. Just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. And then with this, all you're going to do is just pop it back inside out. And remember, when you're done with everything, all your molds, just get into the habit. Um, I do it after I'm done using them. And then again, before, um, just spritz them down with some alcohol. Wipe them out really good because you can see some of the yellow on here. It becomes like Tupperware 
where you get that orange staining. So just make sure you spritz them down and clean them and everything like that. But how beautiful did this set come out? And you can do it with any colors that you have, any inks that you have. Um, I'm going to try it with micas also, but I find right now with alcohol inks, it works really great. And for these, again, the ones that I used for the red is Alcohol Pearl in Deception and Alcohol Ink in Poppy Field for the red, along with the Blanco White. For the orange one, I used the Alcohol Pearl in Splendor and Sunset Orange in the ink. And then for the yellow, I use the Pearl of Alchemy and the ink is Sunshine Yellow for the yellow one. And then for this one, I just did all the colors with the white. And again, you're gonna use white in all of these. And then this one here was all the colors as well. So there you go. I hope you guys had fun. I can't wait to see what you create. If you make anything, please feel free to tag me under either Michelle Rinsai or you can find me at Custom Creation Lab on Facebook. Thanks guys, have fun.